Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. Today, it's Lois here, and I'm going to be showing you my stick pens that I use for my line and wash when I'm not using fine liners, if I want a freer and more expressive mark. At the moment, line and wash is my favourite technique to use for watercolour painting, and I mostly use waterproof fine liners by Faber-Castell or Pigma Microns, but I sometimes like to use these stick pens. I collect the sticks and I make them myself and literally just dip them into a bottle of waterproof ink and, and then draw with them. Because they don't have ink reservoirs, you're just literally using um, what ink sits on the surface or soaks into the wooden tip. Um, you get really expressive and interesting marks. It can be a lovely way of painting and a lovely way of doing ink drawings, very different from the more controlled effects that you get with calibrated fine liners. So today I'm going to show you how um, I make my stick pens and show you some of them and show you how you can make your own really easily either using things that you've already got or from sticks that you can find in your local area. These are driftwood pieces that I've just collected from the beach, but you could just as easily use twigs from the garden or from walks. You could use a lolly stick. Um, you can use a piece of bamboo. You can use anything really for these stick pens. The idea is not to create a pen with a reservoir, but just to create a pointed end in slightly different shapes or sizes um, in order to transfer the ink or the paint onto the paper and to make some interesting marks. Because you don't have a reservoir, you can't control how much ink is necessarily on the actual pen itself. And this in itself removes a bit of the control and you get much more sort of... Um, interesting and expressive marks and you can create some really amazing ink drawings or ink paintings and line and wash that's completely different to using the more easily to control lines of fine liners. All I do is I sharpen these old sticks. You can even use um, something like a a chopstick, a wooden or bamboo chopstick, and you can sharpen it in an ordinary pencil sharpener. In fact, most of these sticks, if they fit, can be sharpened in a pencil sharpener, but I like to sharpen mine using, using a pen knife. If you don't have a stick, you may have an old wooden paintbrush that you don't use. So taking care not to cut yourself, <laughs> using a pen knife, then fashion a nib of sorts by carving away into either a fine point or sort of a wedge or chisel edge, whatever shape you fancy, and maybe carve yourself a few. And then you can experiment with lines, experiment with the type of wood, see what holds more ink and what shape you like. You can see we've got a nice sharp edge there, um, which would be really good for mark making. Now I'll just carve this one here, this is quite a nice stick because it has sort of the soft core of the wood is exposed. And if you find a stick like that, the soft core of the wood almost acts like a reservoir and soaks up the ink. And so these carry um, the ink in a slightly better way. Anyway, that's my stick pens. I hope you like them, really easy to make, lots of fun to use but above all, incredible for mark making. Do please um, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do some line and wash paintings using my stick pens. Um, and I shall really look forward to sharing with you some of my process and techniques. Um, it's so much fun and I really like the expressive quality of the line. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. You can support us on Patreon if you like by following the links below. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.